If you've already watched episode four of my Skyrim Special Edition Let's Play, you probably already noticed that I've started using some lighting mods, specifically ELFX and Darker Nights. This is obviously to try and make the game look a little nicer and seem a bit more atmospheric. The problem here, the balancing act I'm trying to perform, is to make it feel atmospheric and yet be watchable. Now I did, I've, I've already mentioned that ELFX, the, the full version, the one where you actually use the ELFX exterior's weather, is way too dark and it was realistic but I felt it would probably ruin the viewing experience. So I went for Darker Night, the medium setting. This is what you're looking at right now. I feel this is a good balance. It's got a little reduced visibility, but not much. I can still see things like the, uh, what was it called, reindeer over there. And I, I really couldn't miss much if I looked long enough. But it does feel a bit more like night, whereas the vanilla game, it's just too bright. I could actually go a little darker here, make visibility a little less. But the, the ones I tried always made it so that it was a little difficult to see close objects as well. And I think for a playthrough like this, it's important that you guys can see, say, the wall, the stairs, and all of these items reasonably clearly, but perhaps have distant objects harder to see. That's a tough one in this game, unfortunately. So it's probably a bit of a work in progress. Now, I do like ELFX. It adds a lot more lights. The lights are cool. And it does make interiors look a lot nicer, especially the inns. They look a little smokier, a little darker and warmer. That's, that's, the, that's the feeling I get with these things. They feel warmer because, of course, all of the light sources are from lights, which is nice. However, in dungeons, it can be a tiny bit dark. And by a tiny bit dark, I mean it can be very dark. This is where things get a little tougher for me. As you can see, this is pretty dark. Apart from the areas where there are lights, it is pretty dark. I can see the floor here, but I do imagine on the YouTube video this could be a bit difficult to see. Uh, if I look down this corridor here, you can see the light at the end. Everything's pretty visible, but the walls close by, probably on the YouTube video, are going to be tough. I can see them, but they're not crystal clear. Now, I love the way this feels. It feels realistic. It feels atmospheric. And for a playthrough where I'm going to be a thief, it kind of helps me understand where I should be hiding. Because, of course, if you play the vanilla game and everything's just brightly lit, everything's lit, even when you get a sense of darkness because it just discolors things, you can see very clearly. And so it always feels a bit odd to be kind of, you know, hid in a corner and no one can see you when you, you, you look around you and it's all well lit. So I do like this kind of low light situation. This is not the hardcore setting, believe it or not. If I use the hardcore setting, things are really dark. So I like the way this looks, but I do appreciate for the viewer, this is going to be tough. Now for this sort of a place, I think you need a torch. And I like that idea. I like the idea of having to balance the torch, take a torch out to look around and then put it away while I'm sneaking because I don't want to get spotted. But again, I'm really aware of the fact that I'm trying to do two things here. Make a let's play that is visible for you, but also make a let's play that is atmospheric. If, if it's too bright, it loses any sense of fear and it loses the aspect of stealth gaming. But if it's too dark, it basically is unwatchable. So I'm not totally happy with where I am. I think part of the problem is at the moment where I was at in the story, I didn't have a torch. Had I had a torch, I could have used it a little more when appropriate, or perhaps a lantern and seen when I needed to see and then go into dark when I need to go into the dark. So I am going to think about that. I'm going to make sure I bring torches as soon as I find one. But... I'll also consider some other mods, lantern mods, that type of thing, to try and improve the viewing experience. 
And I, I'm not ruling out just removing the lighting mod if it is totally unwatchable. It's, it's going to come down to a lot of the feedback, I guess. Now, a big part of the reason that I'm making this video is to just reassure you that I am aware that it was somewhat difficult to see in episode four because I felt it myself. Had I been carrying a torch, I would almost certainly have taken it out at various points. And that probably would have alleviated the problem. In a room like this, for example, once I'd made sure I was safe, take a torch out, inspect everything, you get to see, we get to discover everything, and then when we get to here, we put the torch out and go back to trying to be as stealthy as possible. The, you know, the, the sort of the mixture of using the light when needed, putting it away when you didn't want to get discovered, would probably add to the feeling, add to the atmosphere. But in that last episode, I just didn't have a torch, and therefore that was not an option. And probably various times when coming into areas like this, it was probably completely unwatchable. I know, it's, here's the thing, I can tell you now, visibility here for me is reasonably bad. I can see the floor, I can see the walls, I can navigate around, but, you know, if there'd been something on the floor there, like a trap, I would had to have looked very, very carefully. So, when that happens, I know the YouTube video is going to be harder to watch because, of course, the compression that YouTube uses does not work well with darkness. So that that's the purpose of this video, just to let you know I am aware of the difficulties. I do appreciate I have to balance this. This is not a survival horror let's play, so I can lighten it a little. I don't need it to be quite as terrifying as other such games. But at the same time, I do want to have some atmosphere when I when I head into these dungeons. I do want to have some feeling of darkness to to hide in as a stealthy sort of character. So it's a balancing act. It's going to be something I probably keep balancing for some time. And maybe I'll use various different mods. You might find ELFX is great, but maybe I can use a mod that actually does improve visibility a little. I may even edit it myself. Maybe I can just go in and find a halfway point between what ELFX does normally and what would work for my viewers. Just sort of reduce the dimness a tiny bit. I would just have to keep various options in mind and see what works. Okay, a quick update on this subject. I have actually played three more episodes since making the previous footage and uh, having finished episode seven, I think I've decided to install a weather stroke lighting mod. I'm thinking about vivid weathers. And I know I said I was going to avoid doing that at first because I wanted to experience the vanilla lighting, the vanilla weather, just so that I had something to compare it with when I did use a mod. But honestly, <laughs> I'm already a little bit fed up of the vanilla weather. I mean, it's better than the old Skyrim. Skyrim Special Edition does look better than old Skyrim, but it just doesn't look as good as Skyrim with mods. Not even close. And uh, there, there, just, there are a few places and a few moments where I just think to myself, this just does not look as good. And the more I think like that, the more I want to use something like Vivid Weathers. Now, Vivid Weathers does look interesting, for a number of reasons, not only could it make the vanilla weathers look a little better, it also allows me to make nights darker and interiors and dungeons darker, but to change those settings on the fly from within the game. And that could be very, very useful. So I'm, I'm sort of looking for feedback from you guys, advice basically. Those of you who've used this mod, is this a good starting point to improve the weathers and lighting. I suspect it is, but I do want to touch base with you. Now, this doesn't mean I won't be using anything else. I may use some reshaders, EMBs, who knows what else. Just as a start, I want to do one mod at a time because I need to be able to compare it to the previous experience. Otherwise, I won't know which mod is changing what. This is one of the reasons I wanted to avoid lighting mods and visual mods at first, so that I could get used to the vanilla game. 
Um, I just got used to the vanilla game faster than I thought. And uh, you can read that as got fed up with the vanilla look faster than I thought. So there you go. Basically, Vivid Weathers, make the in-game lighting look a little better and possibly darken interiors, dungeons and nights, but have far more control over how much and be able to adjust that if I think to myself, you know what, this is too dark. I can probably adjust it on the fly mid-episode without you guys noticing. Obviously, I'd edit it out and uh, hopefully get this balance between atmosphere and viewability. Okay, that, that really is it for the video. So there you go. Please leave a comment down below if you have any feedback for me.